We've got high hopes for this contest with these two fighters. Should be a really good matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Omaha, Nebraska, here is an acclaimed three. So much hype surrounding this big match. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Back and forth they go. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Both men step back for just a moment. No rest for the weary. The crowd here cannot wait. They've been buzzing all day long, and finally, we're about to get it on. Can you imagine walking into this tub, walking into an arena with such nice people chanting your name? You can't even hear your corner man whispering in your ear. I've been in situations like that where it can be terrorizing if you haven't got your wits about you. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. They exchange punches. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Nice counter shot. Not much accuracy being displayed. Both of these fighters swinging wildly. That left counter punch will score. Either man. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. down big time on the scores. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Mate, he's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump up. Body in it. Be smart. Change your angle. Go out there and finish him. He's ready. Here we go for round two. It's safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on you. And that's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. He threw the hook, didn't land. Nice counter shot. That left shot lands. Counter right hand again. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh man, you've got swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Hit him low on the blind side of the referee. Get him angry. Punch lands. Good counter left hand there. Punch scores. This is not good strategy. Those punches are, despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Counter right hand there. And 
fighting around that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow, it's like two different leagues. The referee calling for seconds out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more. On to the third. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Hand speed in these lighter divisions is always so impressive, but if you can sneak in a power shot every once in a while and sit down on a punch, that's where you separate yourself. This is why I love the little guys. This is exactly why I love them. Look at them, toe to toe, half a half. You know, mano on mano, they're letting the shots go. Left counter score. That counter shot lands. Both men step back for just a moment. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. His jab just got blocked. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. <sighs> you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think, come on, man, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? After that last round, something has got to change. When are we going to see a jab from these two? And he fails to score with that left hook. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. What you gotta do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've gotta wait, you've gotta, you just gotta throw portion to the wind and just hope you're never gonna know where the shots are coming from. You just gotta put in a guess. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. Good one. These two are the perfect dance partners. They score with that left hand. Good counter punching from both these fighters. Nice exchange here from both men. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. 
What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're gonna get a kitchen sink. Look at him, he's absolutely knackered, man. He's knackered. Great work. Back into the fray here in round five. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. Walk away from each other and then run right back into trouble. He misses with that jab. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Can they figure out the comp? Crawford is dazed! certainly has a huge chin. And it appears they weathered the storm. How? I'm not sure. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. You know the scorecards are gonna be all over the place in this one. Terrence Crawford just got rocked. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Take him out. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. Mate. On to the sixth round. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. The perfect counter lands. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Good idea, but misses with the left hook. It's defend yourself at all times. Very close round with 10 seconds to go.
Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Every here comes round seven. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. Lands with the right counter. They have no respect for each other's punching power. He gets out of the way of that left hand. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through it? Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Both men step back for just a moment. Good left counter that lands. And he misses with that jab. Nice counter punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Oh, you know what? I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Come on. Look across at him. Look at him now. Fight. It's so important now in this first minute of this next round to get on top of him. And they're back at it again here in round eight. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. You're fine. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Got out of the way of that right hook. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Left counter was perfectly timed. He parries that left jab away. You'd like to see more jabs. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws. Crawford may be ready to go down. Good job of cutting off the ring, making sure his opponent cannot get out of trouble. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. And there's the bell for round nine. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. Oh. 
He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Catch and shoot. Terrence Crawford just got rocked. Seems like he's beginning to recover a little bit. And it appears they weathered the storm. How? I'm not sure. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Midweight through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're gonna find out. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. This is easy for us to say and comment here at ringside, but those guys can see what they've got to do. I understand there's a lot of pressure. I understand there's some guys that are just naive or inexperienced, but just give them a break. Give them a little time. Crawford's legs are all over the place. But Crawford is on the canvas. One, two, three, four. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Nice counter. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be, considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. To make or break a fighter. This is the 10th. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Taj, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he... Crawford in trouble. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Punch, counter punch. That right hook catching air. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You could hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. And counter punching. Lucky that hook didn't score. Still swinging with nothing left. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. We love the response. Here we go in the championship rounds, round 11. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a bluff him. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Don't get 
trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot and that's when he catch you. Good counter punch. And left hook misses. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both men step back for just a moment. Come on, give these guys a chance. They're just trying to figure out how they're going to deal with it. Yes, they need to be offensive and defensive. It's just trying to figure out which puzzle fits which. You'd like to see more jabs. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Just missed with that big right hand. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a foot. On to the 12th. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You've gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone, he knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. <laughs> How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to outthink him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fake and pickpocket him. You'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he just misses with that jab. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches, they're scoring, but they're not gonna hurt anybody. He just misses with that big right hand. Neither man really defending themselves. Good count. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Another win, another unanimous decision victory. Unanimous? You know what? Smart, smart that is. A total change of styles to make sure they got it. At every round in the bag, there was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious.